farm is over a century old now um, and uh, it was built for uh, the tetrarch who is widely accepted as the fastest two-year-old of, of his day and of the 20th century. Um, him and his son Tetratima stood here, they were both champion sires and in fact the last, um, the last grey champion sires. Bally Lynch's um, operates in all facets of the bloodstock and racing industry, but uh, we also have a pre-training farm here. Uh, we board mares for clients. Um, we have about 70 brood mares of our own, so we have lots of foals and yearlings here as well. And uh, we have a sister farm in um, Castle Martin. We've got some fabulous stallions here, and um, they all seem to be performing very well at the moment. Um, the younger horses coming through, like Wallgeist, he, he was a world champion racehorse, the best Galileo since Frankel. So it's exciting to see what he can do. Uh, we've supported those horses with our, our best broodmares and we're also constantly um, reinvigorating our broodmare band as well. So uh, hopefully things will be onwards and upwards from here. Up to Vegas had 37 stakes performers in 2020. Uh, four of them were Group 1 winners. Uh, we had two, two Group 1 winners um, at a two-year-old level and we've had uh, two at older horse level as well showing the stallion is well able to get one that can progress. It's his second Breeders' Cup winner now um, so you know he, he's proven he can do it. He's got uh, 12 Group 1 winners across four continents. Um, you know he's very popular in Australia. Uh, he works well in America and Europe as well so he's, he's a real international stallion. He's had a career high fee now, 125,000, but um, he definitely justifies himself to be up there amongst those elite, elite stallions in Europe. And uh, yeah, we've been run off our feet taking applications for him this year. And we, we've been very lucky in that um, our other sire, Make Believe, has, all, has also won a, a classic race this year, winning the French Dar Derby. It's absolutely huge for the stud to conceive of two horses of that calibre here in Bally Lynch. M Make Believe got off to a, a great start um, when he had Rosa Calaire. She won two group races for him as a two-year-old. And this year she's progressed and got on to win a Musidori, another group three. Um, his first crop now has five stakes winners and um, that sets him as one of the, the best young sires in Europe. Um, he's got Mishrif, the Group 1 winner, and he's also got the group winning fillies um, Ocean Fantasy and Believe in Love. He's, he's had group winners at six furlongs all the way up um, through a derby trip and up to 14 furlongs, so we find him a very versatile horse to breed to. And uh, He showed tremendous speed himself. He was a Prix de la Forêt winner in, um, in track record time and uh, he also won the French 2000 guineas. Every big race of 2020 was a, was a reminder of the strength of Wallgeist, um, Arc the Triumph form. Um, the beaten horses that day, um, including Gaiat, Enable, Satsas and Magical, won, have won over 11 group run races since. We were overwhelmed with um, the reception he got last year. He covered um, just under 120 mares. 95% um, of the mares he covered had black type under the first dam, including uh, 63 black type performers or producers. Wallgeist is actually a, a better, a more highly ranked racehorse than Lope de Vega. He's got a time from rating of 132. Uh, Lope de Vega was 125. So. Nubes made an exceptional start in 2020. Um, he's had f four um, stakes horses already, including the Group 2 winner, New Mandate and uh, Saffron Beach, who won the Group 3 also sharp stakes. Uh, Jane Chappelheim trains her and she says she's going for the guineas, so we're quite excited about that. Statistically speaking, he's, he's very, very strong. Um, he's at 50% winners to runners. He's got seven horses rated over 90 from only 22 runners so far. We can only go on, on what we've, we've seen so far and it's, it's reason to be very excited. Um, he seems to be capturing breeders' imagination as well as we've been overrun with um, applications to breed to him this year. 20,000 um, is back to the fee which he started off on. He's now um, on his way to proving himself as, as, a, as a talented stallion and um, it gives breeders plenty of um, scope to, to make money on them as well. At the sales, um, his average this year was 85,000 and uh, his progeny sold for up to 400,000 guineas. Fascinating Rock was a very talented racehorse. He was a world champion uh, 10 furlong turf horse. He was also the highest rated horse by his sire. Um, that's higher than the uh, seven other sons of Fastnet Rock who've already sired Group 1 winners. We've got a great human resources here in that we've got a lot of people that grew up in the countryside and understand horses quite well. Uh, that coupled with the, the ground we have here is, is very suitable to raising thoroughbreds in that we have a, very, a limestone base which is absolutely perfect for that.